literally, that's that's like five to six years of my salary. Business out here is corrupt. No matter how you look at it, people are trying to make a dollar. So you can end up selling your soul for a quick buck. So I was talking to Jennifer out there and we were talking about you, we were talking about your book too as well, which is kind of an interesting story because you wanted to self-publish your book. You got offers, but you, you self-published because you wanted to own your story. I went through that mistake so I was attempting to write a book. I didn't like the way it was coming out. Oh, we got a deadline, man. And like, dude, I don't want to, my name's on that thing. It's my story. Well, right. we got a deadline. And I'm like, well, how do you, I don't do it. Well, you got to buy your rights back. That's right. Like, I got to buy my own story. That's back. right. So I went through that mistake. So a, a lot of guys that watch my YouTube channel are veterans and also entrepreneurs. What one bit of advice is you've been down this road of entrepreneurship, you know, building this uh, new, new, this new brand of, of David Goggins. Right. What bit of advice would you give to a veteran considering entrepreneurship and why should they? The biggest thing I'm going to say right now, a lot of people, I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't have a lot of money. So you, so you kind of, business out here is corrupt. No matter how you look at it, people are trying to make a dollar. Period. Yep. Period. So you can end up selling your soul for a quick buck. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want to do it. It's always the long game. Yeah, there you go. If you have to suffer, if you have to suffer for a short period of time, that's fine. Suffer. Eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Eat suck it up sandwiches. Drink a can of hard. Whatever you got to do, stay in it. Because the long game is the payoff. And what that means is I got offered $300,000 for the short game. Just first time author. Which sounds like that's over a quarter million. Military, you know what it Come is. On, you don't man. make any money. So literally, that's that's like five to six years of my salary yeah. in one check. Yep. My life was hard. I endured a lot. Yep. My story is powerful. Yep. The short game was take three hundred thousand dollars, give them eighty five percent of what I'm going to make, mm -hmm. and I get fifteen percent. Doesn't make much sense to me. They get eighty five percent. But everybody tells me. That's just how it goes. Yeah. That's what you always hear in business. Yeah. That's how it goes. That's how Audible does it. That's how they do it. That's how the publishing house. It's just how it goes. People accept that kind of bullshit. That's how it goes. Right. Don't accept that. Don't accept it. It's not how it goes. How it goes for me is I'm going to self-publish. I'm going to take a chance on myself. And by doing that, it was the best move I ever made in my life. The best move I made in my life was not trusting what people say. So have confidence in yourself. Don't go with the short game. Go with the long-term goal. With like, look, I want to be here 10 years from now. Don't think I want to be here tomorrow. We have no patience in this world. Develop patience. David, when, when you're looking at your, your brand, you're looking at your whole, your whole model, not where you're going. You know, I think the interesting thing about your, your message is that I lost 100 pounds in three months. I went through all this. What's this big significant difference that you experienced through Air Force PJ, mm -hmm. through Army Rangers? No, I'm just so. What's the change in my mindset? When I first went to try to become an Air Force pararescueman, I had tackled a lot of the surface problems I was dealing with. The second something got extremely hard mm -hmm. in Air Force pararescue training, I didn't mentally know how to handle it. I thought I was dealing with stuff. You know, I, I taught myself how to read pretty much. I then taught myself how to swim. I thought I was dealing with problems. So the biggest change for me was I went down to the root cause of why I became a quitter, why I had the quitting mind. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, man, something's not working here, man. Yeah. Something's not working. So I went to the root cause of it. The root cause of it was my childhood. I had to go back to the to, to where it started, which was with my father. You reconciled that. That's right. I had to go through and fix all that. You know, I went through, fixed it all, went down, rebuilt my foundation. And then when I was you know, making that move from a 297 pound man mm -hmm. to, to a 191 pound man, losing weight real fast and going to try to be a, a Navy SEAL. No longer did I have the quitting mind. So when team, like, so like when I got set back and still training three times, I didn't care. My new norm was I'm not leaving. Until you, you become a SEAL. Until you become a SEAL. Versus I'm not good enough, I'm going to leave. So that was the thing about my mindset. I went, I went back to the roots, mm -hmm. the root cause of the problem, fixed my mindset, gained the tools necessary to stay in the war until I won it. The mantra 
Okay, because I'm talking about veteran entrepreneurs leaving the military, owning your story, what you went through, and becoming an entrepreneur. Right. You know, one of the things I, I was really frowning upon was how the media was talking about other Navy SEALs. Well, you know, they're, they're selling their story and doing this, they're selling the trident. Right. All that crap, right? Right. Th that's what you went through. That's I right. mean, and so what advice? Because when I was getting out of the Marine Corps, hey, so Paul, you, you don't know anything else about stop being a Marine. Right. Stay in the Marine Corps. We'll see you in 30 days. Right. You're going to come back in anyway. Right. All you know how to do is be a Marine. Right, true story. And so, what advice would you give to a veteran out there that says, you know what, even your your, your brothers, brothers and sisters, right, your, your veteran community, military community is going opposite against you. The meat is selling the tribe, tried it. How would you address? You know what, I have a great answer for that. My book, even though I'm wearing the uniform, and you can see the trident on there, mm -hmm. try this kind of covered up. You see David Goggins. Yep. You don't see Navy SEAL. Seal. Right. You don't see that. Yeah. This book is about me being a Navy SEAL. Be, become bigger than the military. Yeah. Have more of a story than just the military. A lot of people who are selling the Navy SEAL story, yeah. the Navy SEALs are getting mad for a reason. I mean, I don't see why. Yeah. Stop, you know, stop caring so much. The Navy SEALs did not make you who you are. People think because you now wear a trident, the Navy SEALs made you. No, you have to get through buds, okay? <laughs> So if you don't walk into BUDS, first day of BUDS, SEAL training, ready to kick ass, you're not gonna make it. Right. So how I look at it is the men that graduate SEAL training make the trident. There you go. The trident does not make the men. Yeah. We have to get through it. If you can't get through the training, you don't earn the trident. Yeah. That trident is just a piece of metal. Yeah. This is what goes through SEAL training, a human being. So those guys who have a hard on about that, they're just mad because they're not the ones doing it. But I'm not selling that story. I'm not selling a SEAL story. It so happens I went through Navy SEAL training. It's a very small portion of my story. It has no OPSEC stuff in there. No, it, yeah. my story is about overcoming yourself. Yeah. I happened to go through BUDS three times. That's in there. Also went through Ranger School. Also went through TAC-P, Pararescue, Delta Force Selection twice. Wow. I also broke Guinness Book of World Records for pull-ups. I ran 205 miles. I did a whole mess of things, had two heart surgeries. It's a story about overcoming oneself. So what, be, be bigger, do more than just the military. I love it. Well, listen, listen, you got David Goggins here. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. And I appreciate you guys, for those of you who are watching this. If you got questions, you got comments, you got feedback, I'd love to know about it. Drop it in the comments section below. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe. And also you hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload the next episode. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like to like our business page. Listen, this is your mighty smart guy and a veteran entrepreneur. Get some serious. If you like this, please share it. On behalf of David Goggins, I'm your mighty smart guy. Till we meet again. Continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.